Hello everyone and welcome to the AI webinar. AI or artificial intelligence doesn't need any introduction. We can find it on our smartphones and several places around us. The AI action plan released in June 2021 clearly indicates that AI could contribute more than $20 trillion to the global economy. By 2030, Australia itself will need more than 160,000 AI specialists with skills such as machine learning, computer vision, natural language processing, and other popular AI technologies. Currently, there is a critical shortage of AI professionals and the number is just growing. AI has been a key technology in the startup ecosystem and more and more startups are either adopting or developing unique AI algorithms for their products. Hence, the Bachelor of AI degree is surely going to play an important role in creating a skilled workforce. I think this is a great question to ask. Why study a degree in AI at UTS? These are some of the important facts to consider. The University of Technology Sydney is ranked 10th in the world and first in Australia for artificial intelligence research in the latest AI research index ranking by Korean Software Policy and Research Institute. The Australian Artificial Intelligence Institute at UTS is Australia's largest research hub in the field of artificial intelligence. The Bachelor of Artificial Intelligence is a three-year undergraduate entry degree leading to eligibility to start a career as an AI professional. This degree invites students to participate in a variety of innovative, inquiry-based, collaborative learning activities, which will enable them to identify, analyze, and manage challenges in various aspects of artificial intelligence. Students will also have opportunities to engage with industry or external partners in real-world AI-focused projects. Students can apply the professional skills developed during the program to offer original solutions to challenges that industries are facing in the era of big data, cloud computing, and automation. The degree also focuses on creating graduates who are not only technically competent, but also socially responsible and understands the ethical use of AI to solve current and future problems across various industry sectors. This is an overview of the Bachelor of AI program, which is a three years, 144 credit point program. The program has a range of core and compulsory subjects, which are part of the IT core and AI core, which provides strong foundation for the students for advanced subjects related to AI. Next, the AI options, we have a range of advanced AI subjects, which covers domains such as computer vision, natural language processing, and others. Additionally, students will have options to choose four more electives from the open elective block, which can be any subjects related to AI or something else. This is what we have in the IT core, um, which is a set of compulsory subjects, uh, 48 credit points. It provides a strong IT foundation, strong programming foundation, project management and communication foundations to the graduates. This is an overview of what subjects we have in the AI core. We start with mathematics foundations and advanced programming and then get into AI foundations. In the mathematics foundations, we have three subjects, mathematics one and two and discrete mathematics which will prepare the students to understand and learn the AI concepts. In the AI foundations, students will start with data analytics, but they get introduced to basic machine learning concepts as well, and then get into introduction to AI, which covers a range of foundational topics. Students will need to complete a caption project at par as part of the AI core as well. In the AI options, students need to complete um, 18 grade points, which is around three subjects. A range of advanced AI subjects are available to the students to choose from, such as deep learning and convolution neural network, reinforcement learning, natural language processing, advanced AI, image processing, to name a few. Students can also choose diverse topics such as quantum computing, IoT, or theory of computer science. Students uh, need to choose 24 grade points of elective subjects. One subject or six CP must be from a list of transdisciplinary electives, and the remaining 18 CP can be chosen from a list of open elective subjects, or literally can be any subjects of students' choice. All IT degrees have mostly uh, common IT core. Uh, the BIT covers everything uh, such as software, information systems, network and cybersecurity, human computer interaction, and data analytics measures. Um, with sub-majors in IT, games, maths, um, business, and so on. 
um, students can also do a second IT major or a second major in business or management. The BIT uh, Cooperative Scholarship has some coding. Uh, students choose uh, an IT sub-major plus one year of will internship. Um, specialist degrees add more depth such as uh, games, BIS, computer science um, covers everything that uh, BSc IT does, uh, including uh, maths and theory of computer science and a major project. Um, you can also add uh, maths, stats, or cybersecurity as major choice. Um, software engineering focuses on coding and software life cycles. These are some of the career options. Again, this is not an exhaustive list. Career options may include working as an AI analyst, AI or IT specialist, machine learning engineer, data analyst, business intelligence analyst, and so on. If the graduates have opted for advanced subjects related to computer vision or natural language processing, computer vision or natural language processing engineer options are also available to them. Hello everyone, I'm Jitat Vaishnav, a fourth year student in the Bachelor of Computing Science Honors degree and I am majoring in Artificial Intelligence and Data Analytics. Learning AI at UTS has been and continues to be a wonderful experience since each subject taught is created with a clear objective and is designed in such a manner that it covers the entire state of the art while also keeps on evolving with the industry and research requirements. I have acquired knowledge and expertise in variety of subject areas of artificial intelligence, including computer vision, machine learning, intelligent drones and robots, social robotics, brain computer interface, natural language processing, decision systems, and analytics. This has enabled me to stand out in the industry with a diverse skill set and having a variety of skills is a requirement these days in the industry owing to the breakthrough and rise of AI-based technology in every other sector of the industry. When it comes to achievements, UTS has been a fantastic place to be. I have been included in the Dean's List for three years in a row for my outstanding academic success, and I have had many incredible opportunities to compete, participate, lead, host, and volunteer at mega competitions and events, including the Tech Festival and Depressor competition to showcase our excellence in AI. If you want to excel in artificial intelligence and make an impact in the industry and academia, UTS is the place to really be. I would encourage everyone to make the most of your time at UTS. And finally, I want to emphasize that it's not about being perfect. It's about making consistent efforts that lead to perfection and excellence. Thank you. We just wanted to give you an insight into adjustment points for UAC rounds. So when it comes to adjustment points, these are additional points that are added to a student's raw ATAR to give them a selection ranking. So at UTS, um, the adjustment points that you can receive is a maximum of 13 total. They can be made up of a number of factors, such as the UTS Engineering IT Questionnaire, which you can scan the QR code below, uh, good results in relevant HSC subjects, so you can find out more at our Year 12 subject scheme uh, page for UTS. Gender and special circumstances. Now, in regards to the key dates that will be helpful when it comes to your UAC applications, our scholarship applications are now open and close early September, the 4th of September. We'll also have our exciting open day on the 27th of August. If you'd like to attend, as most of you would be aware, the HSC exams will occur from early October to mid-November. And then from mid-December at this stage, uh, likely around the 15th of December, these dates are subject to change, is that when the New South Wales and ACT ATARs will be released. Following this, UAC has a number of different offer rounds that you will be able to be eligible for to apply for the course that you're interested in. And as we've stated there, usually the orientation for UTS is in February with autumn starting date early March and the census date in late March. Now, if you haven't already heard of, we will be now hosting a UTS early entry program. The great exciting thing about this is it uses your year 11 results when entering uh, the UTS early entry program. So currently domestic or international onshore sh on students in year 12 um, can apply for this program through the UTS online application portal. 
It's free to apply with applications now open and closing in September. In regards to the offers, provisional offers will be released on October before the HSC commences and you must complete your HSC or equivalent in order to receive an offer. So if you'd like to find out more about this scheme, please scan the QR code in front of you and especially how our engineering and IT um, questionnaire can give you additional points for that application. UTS offers a range of different services. Um, some of the student support include, but not limited to, the bridging courses on offer in areas such as mathematics, physics and chemistry. And we also have a system called UPASS, which is our peer assisted student study success um, scheme. And what this does is for available subjects is students would be matched with someone who has previously undertaken the course and that they can um, help and be nurtured uh, in guidance for that. I hope that you enjoyed today's info session and please make sure if you have any questions to reach out to us further at feit at uts.edu.au. You can also find out more on our webpage, eng.uts.edu.au. Thank you.